Um, alright, the Beastie Boy 02 coming through. This video starting. This video. Alright, people, please stop. I'm too famous for you. Yo, I don't like regular people. You wanna be fired? Come on, it's video starting. Don't like regular people. Today, and in this video, I'm gonna to be doing my girl me to a live reaction slash review. Now, if you're new to this channel, you don't know what it is. Live reaction slash review is basically me reacting to the um show live. Um, and I'm gonna chop it up a bit. I'm not gonna just do me sitting here like to the entire show. I'm gonna chop it up a bit into like when I'm actually talking about things. Or and um and the slash review part is when I'm telling you guys um a bit of my thoughts towards the end of the video. Um. I'm, this is a new year, right? New year, new me. So I'm going to be doing more of these type Disney Channel videos because I, I've been doing a few of them last year, but I haven't really been doing them that much, and I'm going to try to get into them a bit more this year. By the way, um, I have something on my hair. This is, I had um, this moisturizer in my hair, and my hair is a bit wet right now. So, um, yeah, that's why it's it's a bit white in some places. And by the way, don't roast me for my hair. Like, um, someone was like, oh my god, your hairline's an arrow. My hairline is not an arrow. This is actually my mohawk, and my mohawk just falls that way. My hairline is actually right here, all right? So my hairline is straight. I'm going to be watching this on my TV, so, um, and not the iPad this time. But yeah, let's get into this. Okay, so... Riley wants them to have their sweet 16 now. But they're like 15. Why does she want to have their sweet sweet 16 now? Like Alright guys, so this episode is pretty confusing to me so far, but let's continue. I win the Nobel Prize for physics. Okay, Smacko, please stop being annoying. I, I guys like I, I honestly like wanna be in like the popular opinion. Like, oh my god, Smackle, Smackle. She's annoying to me. She's She's just annoying. Like, she just is to me. Like, everybody's like, oh my god, um, smackle, smackle, smackle. She's annoying to me. Aww. <laughs> 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 Alright, so Riley wants to have a surprise 16, sweet 16 party. And Lucas is like, how is this a surprise if we all already know about it? Like, it just doesn't make sense. It, 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 it just, this is just not adding up to me. And then Maya makes fun of the fact that Lucas is older than, than them all. And she's like, because we're 15 and you're 24. That's pretty funny. I don't know why I'm not laughing if I think that it's funny, though. Wait, it doesn't matter. It doesn't count. I, mean, it must have been I don't understand how they all end up in the same class with the same teacher. Okay, so basically their assignment is to tell Mr. Matthews what's, what's basically their next step in their life. Um, that's a lot of pressure. Like, why is Mr. Matthews putting this much pressure on them? Like, they're only 15. Like, why are you trying to ruin their lives? Like, they're not ready to think about that yet. And you're just putting so much pressure on them. I just don't understand why Smackle always feels the need to, like, state the obvious. She was like, oh, Riley feels more confident in her relationship with Maya than she does with Lucas. No kidding, Sherlock! I'm still salty how they did that whole storyline with like, oh, which one is, is uh, gonna be with Lucas, Riley or Maya? Then they, they did this whole big big build up, and now Riley's with Lucas, and but it doesn't even seem like she's with him, like, for real. You're the driest couple I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, that whole thing with like Zay, like, like Smackle was frozen and then Zay was playing around acting like she was a robot, that was, that was hilarious right there. Okay, so Fargo's talking to Lucas right now, and he's like, yo, if, if, if Smackle has feelings for you, you know, um, I'll be willing to step aside. He's like, um, you know, me and Smackle, we're uh, people of science, and we don't do well with feelings. And Fargo's saying that he's gonna make a clone of him. He won't do anything bad to Lucas, but he'll make a clone of Lucas and do bad things to his clone. Um... Wait, so Fargo knows how to clone people? Like, why doesn't this kid have the Nobel Prize already? Gromy's world makes me feel like I do nothing with my life. I still don't think that using the Sweet 16 thing as a plot device made any sense whatsoever. Oh my god, Aki got a wedgie at school because it, he thought that it was crazy hair day, but apparently it was photo day. Oh my god, I hope that he wasn't wearing white underwear. Okay, guys, so this is pretty hard to explain. So, basically, uh, Lucas was uh, um, in Topanga's, which nobody works at. 
Nobody's working there. Like, it's mental. It's absolutely mental. Like, who's running that place? Someone could literally come into there and just rob everything. Rob all the cakes. Rob all the snacks. Everything. Like, is that just like a hangout spot that she brought? But, like, oh my god. But anyway, so Lucas was over there hitting on Smack and went to Pangas, right? Um, I was like, whoa. You're with Riley. Farkle's with Smackle. Chill out. But then, um... I realized what he was doing. He was trying to get Smackle to um, realize that she actually didn't like him at all. And she was just doing that all for just jokes, right? And then, but he had Farkle hiding out, boom, right behind the counter. And then um, she was like, she only makes those jokes because she's afraid that Farkle actually doesn't like her as much as he says that he does. And then, um, boom, he popped out of the counter. And he was like, oh my god, I like you even more than I say that I like you. Oh my god, oh my god. And then, um, Riley and Maya were there. And then they were like, aww. And then Zay popped out from behind the counter with a red velvet cupcake. That looks so good right there. Yeah, they are a perfect match. Too much of a perfect match, if I may add some input. Oh my god, they're leaving Riley because they're going to Prince. It's only in New Jersey, though. Right, it's really over exaggerating. Princeton is only in New Jersey, like it's not even that far. Oh my God, they hurt Riley's feelings. What's new? What's new? Okay, so basically, uh, Farkle and Smackle for their report, they agree that their future, they're they're gonna go to Princeton and stay together forever. Oh my God. I was too busy zoning out. I have no idea what uh, Lucas and um, Zay said. Sweet sixteen will be a lot sweeter when you're actually sixteen. No duh. Oh my god, guys. Guys, they, they, they realize that uh, hope isn't for suckers after all. And that's something to celebrate anytime. And it's, it's true because every day I hold on to hope. And that's what this show gives me. <laughs> this show gives me hope. I, I can't believe that it's ending. Netflix, pick it up. <laughs> Freeform, pick it up! <laughs> oh, Topanga's got bad news! Oh, they just named Topanga head of their London office. Well, you thought wrong! They just don't go with her if you don't want to go to London with her. Topanga told them that uh, she needs to talk it over with her family. Riley and Maya, they're like dead crying. Like the the faces that they're making when they're crying is so funny <laughs> because that's the face that I make when I'm on the toilet. <laughs> oh my god, to be continued. Like honestly, every Disney like finale or whatever, it always ends with people having a decision to move in away or something like that. So that that wasn't really surprising to me, but. Um, yeah, how did I feel about that episode? <sighs> I thought the core of it was good. Like, I thought that the actual episode itself was good. But, like, what it was based on, like, how it had to be based on that stupid Sweet 16 thing, it just made no sense. Like, like, I just didn't like the idea that whole... Like, it just didn't make sense to me why she wanted a Sweet 16, honestly. But, like, I bet someone is gonna be like, oh, in the comments, because, um, but, like, if you want to tell me why in the comments below you think it made sense, tell me in the comments below, um, I just want to know, so, um, yeah, tell me in the comments below why it made sense to you, or why it didn't make sense to you, but, um, yeah, I just don't think this, the whole Sweet 16 thing made sense. I thought that the episode itself was very, 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 very good, I just didn't think what it was based on was good. But, um, yeah, guys, um, I thought, yeah, I think the episode was very good. Don't forget the thumbs up this video. Hit this video with a big thumbs up. I'm gonna be doing my reactions to the final episode of Girl Meets World next week. So, um, yeah, you guys should check that out. Um, and yeah, guys, uh, till tomorrow, you guys know what to do. So every time I tell you a video. Actually, I make a video every single day. I'm probably gonna make a few Disney videos, uh, reaction videos after this one, too. So you should stick around for those. Check those out, too. Um, and yeah, I live stream every Friday at 9 p.m. So I'm gonna be live streaming later tonight. And yeah, guys, stay beastly. <gasps>